Today we're going to check out an app called Sketchflow for Phone 7. I'm running it on the emulator here so we can uh, uh, better film it, but it works great on my phone. Um, it starts pretty simply. Uh, you get a grid and two icons. This icon down here is the help. It opens the help system and this one up here opens tools. Let's start with tools. I uh, will see a number of tools. Uh, we have a text icon which creates some uh, sketch flow text. We have a delete which is for deleting everything on our, our workspace. Uh, we have a uh, sketch box which we can create and resize, manipulate, move around. Circle which creates a nice ellipse for us. Uh, then uh, if we need some ipsum lorem text, we got that covered. Uh, let's use the delete clean up our canvas here. Uh, this next one is a horizontal line. There's a vertical line. And then also an app bar. Oh, it's down at the bottom. Uh, we can also turn off the grid and uh, we can also select any of the items on the uh, the on the work surface and move it around. Um, depending on what type of item it is, we get different tools over here on the right hand side. For example, this is the text toolbar. You can change it to bold. You can change the font size uh, to whatever you want. Uh, we can change the height. Um, it's a little bit of uh, a pain, but uh, it is on the phone, and this is kind of uh, you know an hour, or two or three hours worth of work, I guess I did over the weekend. Um, but you can make all these adjustments, like setting underline, changing the actual text, like if you want something else there, we can type it in, hit save, and that changes the text. Uh, we can control height, width, delete the item, but we can also clone the item. Uh, so that uh, makes it easier when we're making buttons, labels, and different kinds of things that we, we want more than one of on the screen. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. For me, it helps in meetings, doing quick sketch flows, or talking to people, doing demos, and of course there's a help screen. Uh, and then it uh, remembers what you did, so next time you go in, it's always there. Now, there's other features that will be added in the future, but right now, this is, uh, this is pretty much all it does. Um, oh, one more thing. If we have, a, like, a text box, these are the only, only elements we get. Height, width, we can delete it and clone it. Uh, and the same applies for the circle or ellipse. And uh, uh, also, things like this app bar... Uh, it draws the app bar like this, but these are actually individual elements on on there, so we can drag those off. I guess we press that button a lot of times, so there's it's stacked on top of each other, but um, that's how it works. Sketchflow for Phone 7.